Just make sure we got all the, the loose items. We don't want to pollute the ocean or lose some slippers or get poked in the eye with a broken surfboard. Watch yourselves down there. <laughs> the water came up. I saw the guy in the front row fully reclined, just kicking and laying back. And I was thinking, Bruh, I wonder how quick you can get up from that supine position up to scramble and grab everything. Oh, there's a... There's a bag or something that's yeah. on the shoreline way down there. Maybe uh, a qualified brave soul could go grab that. Well, that's the danger zone right there. Yeah. yeah. Time check, 2 minutes, 15 seconds, 2.15, counting down. If you wave a reward out, uh, Water Patrol might go over there and grab it, but that's going to wash back up here. I'm trying to see what is that? Is that a backpack or a bag? Wow. That that's uh, could have some valuable items. Don't want to let that one get too far away. We'll keep an eye on it. It's floating. If it does get pulled off the shoreline, Water Patrol can use the jet skis. At Ten. Cole, your second wave now in at a 19.7. You Very move up good. to six overall. All right, getting a score of uh, 19. Pretty good. More big waves out the back, so we could have more of that shoreline wash up. Just uh, keep alert and aware down there. And the bag gets washed back in. Okay. The ocean taketh, but yet giveth back. Something like that. Counting down 50 seconds. It's like, wow, this bag is like 20 pounds heavier now. It's got sand and salt water in it. And here's your countdown in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Sound of the horn rounds out Heat 10 with Cole Rothman with a 19.7 and a 5.7 moving up to six overall. In a matter of minutes. They can. And we've seen it go from something brought standby is to just react and adapt, like I always say. Yeah, so we got through round one of the men's. Round one of the women's has been put on standby for tomorrow, but we were getting ready to start round number two, the first five Hello. heats, and Hello. the uh, event organizers just want to make sure that the surfers have say, the best say, say, how's it? conditions that how's they, it? Could, they could get better. And especially with these light and variable wind conditions, things really change. The land heats up, starts sucking in, all of a sudden, that last little high surge, so hang out and uh, a chance that pipeline could get too big. Yeah. We've seen that before, so just want to make sure conditions are optimal for this Vance Pipe Masters. And those on the shoreline, in the dry sand, the wet sand, you want to come back because yeah. once this wave comes up to the shoreline, it will come up the beach. Yeah, grab your phones, everything electronic that you don't want to get soaked in salt water. And uh, just be ready, just in case we get another high washer up the beach. Big one. Cole Rocker for the last heat, the birthday boy, the 29-year-old, number six with a 25.5. And just out of the top four, Mason Ho on a one-way score of a 26.6 is in fifth place. Your top four right now, Michael February from South Africa in fourth oh with a 27.3. Yeah, look at that. Ivan Florence. In third with a 29.2. Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Come in on. In second with a 32.2. And Ball around Come start, on, number one wave. with a 49.9. 41.9. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> I like the folks down there in their beach chairs just lifting up their feet. Oh, That's pretty classic. Right, <laughs> right on, you guys. They just got to uh, chase down their slippers, but they went towards land, not out to sea, fortunately. But we are seeing the uh, 
incoming swell. We saw it rising all day today and uh, seeing some of the, the peaking of this swell happening as we speak. Cole Rothman getting some PR work done down there, public relations, signing autographs, picking up a nice score out of that last heat and uh, keeping him right there in range to crack the top four if we go into a round two. And around the event area for 24-7 security, Kai Clinic, Dr. Leland Dow, thank you very much. In December, very, very common uh, to see in July, the waves go flat every summer here on the North Shore. Virtually flat, I mean, there's still little waves to ride here and there.